This patient has the nevus of Oda, so skin pigmentation changes as well as these hyperpigmented lesions on the sclera. We'll make our paracentesis, and the first thing that we notice is that the pupil dilation is a little asymmetric. It's a little smaller than we wanted, so we'll instill some anesthetic plus epinephrine mixture. Note we put it underneath the iris in all quadrants. This is a solution that has 1 to 10,000 epinephrine along with 1% preserved free lidocaine, all in balanced salt solution. So after instill instilling that agent, it did make a big difference here. We'll now use viscoelastic, a dispersive viscoelastic to perform viscomedry, so injecting in all the areas to use the viscoelastic to open the pupil and give us medriasis. That looks much better now. Gonna make our incision here. We use a diamond keratome, holding the eye with a fixation ring. There's the diamond keratome, making a nice, clean, single plane incision. That looks great, and that's where we end of the eye. That's ideal. We'll now make our capsular rexus. Now, in doing this, my decades of experience over tens of thousands of surgeries have left me feeling that this is a very thin capsule. It feels different than the patient's first eye. The way that it tears, the way the tissue handles, it was different than her first eye, which of course did not have the nevus of Oda since that's a unilateral condition. So we'll take our time, make sure we get a nice round capsorexis, and that looks great. The irregular pupil dilation at the beginning, the thinness of the capsule, I think I want to bring this nucleus out of the capsule bag. So gentle hydro dissection, we're going to bring this nucleus out of the capsule bag. If the nucleus is out of the bag, we'll place less stress on it. More dispersive viscoelastic to protect the cornea. And now we'll take our phaco probe. We're going to use a high vacuum, high flow setting. Hold the nucleus of the phaco chop chopper and then the probe, and we split it into pieces. So this patient is lucky that she doesn't have a very dense cataract, and this one will be quite easily removed. So you can see we adjusted the microscope lights for increased brightness, keeping the nucleus in the center at the pupil margin, the iris plane, and we can phacoaspirate the entire nucleus, chopper being held in a safe position to protect the capsular bag. Here's the last of the nucleus being removed, and we're ready for the irrigation aspiration. So we're going to use the IA probe to remove the cortex, and again, we want to be really gentle here. While the nevus of Oda is not typically associated with other structural abnormalities in the eye, you just never know. So remove the cortex material here. Of course, you do know the nevus of Oda is associated with a very low risk of uh, an ocular melanoma, also sometimes associated with cataract or glaucoma. We'll be careful in removing our cortex. And in this case, we're going to put in a monofocal aspheric lens, a single piece acrylic. So I'll clean up the remainder of the cortex. And here the capsular bag looks good. So all tissues have held up nicely. Perhaps I'm being just a little bit overly cautious, but I'd certainly rather err on the side of being too cautious. Now fill the eye with viscoelastic, this time a cohesive viscoelastic. And now we're going to put our lens inside the eye. There's the lens injector and the left hand will fixate the eye for a little counter traction and now we can deliver the lens into the capsule bag. In this case, the patient wished to remain mildly myopic to have great functional near vision without glasses, so we chose an appropriate lens power to achieve that. So we've opened up the lens, the haptics are now unfolding, rotate the lens into the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock position, and now time to remove the viscoelastic. Go behind the lens, remove the viscoelastic. 
and then as well as in front of the lens. And we can see a very nice overlap of the capsorexis edge on top of the lens. So we'll move our viscoelastic, and we're almost done with the case. We're going to seal up the incisions. And in this case, I really take my time to make sure the incision seals well. That looks great back and forth. There is typically a thickening of the uveal layer in these patients, and the overlying sclera could be thinner. So Nevis Avoda with a nice uneventful cataract surgery.